Hey guys, let's talk a little bit about Top Dead Center. I'm going to quickly go through uh, a few steps on what you should be seeing and what you should do to set your engine on Top Dead Center. Um, there's actually two positions of Top Dead Center. You can set your, pos your engine at Top Dead Center on compression stroke or Top Dead Center on an exhaust stroke. Um, it can be a little confusing because you'll end up lining up your crank pulley with uh, marking on the case and you're gonna think it's top dead center so I'm good to go but uh, it, it's actually um, you're gonna need to pay attention to make sure it's on compression stroke right now my engine is on compression stroke uh, top dead center and if it is you'll see on the Nissan 3.5 liter this marking and this marking pointing straight up same thing on this side. There's a mark, there's a mark, they're pointing straight up. And on the crank, you'll see this notch pointing up and to the left a little bit. That is if you have it exactly on top dead center compression stroke. Now I'm going to show you what it means to be 180 degrees off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spin the crankshaft 360 degrees or one full revolution, put it back where it's at and you're gonna see that these sprockets are gonna be lined up 180 degrees off so they're gonna be pointing down instead of up um, some people don't understand this but they're gonna think well if you turn this 360 degrees then this must turn 360 degrees but that's not true and I'll show that to you guys right now so uh, it's not gonna be perfect this is just an example just so you guys can see what's going on alright so we're right back where we started with the crank it's turned 360 degrees now let's look up here at our sprockets hey where did our markings go we had a marking up here and we had a marking right here now this marking is pointing 180 degree degrees the opposite way and so is this guy sorry okay here we go this marking is pointing straight down and can we get in there and see that line yeah that one's pointing straight down and same thing on this side we have this mark pointing down and this mark pointing down so you're 180 degrees off Therefore, you are not on compression stroke if you line it up this way. So, um, one thing that I did to make sure that I was on compression stroke was I took off the spark plug from number one cylinder, which is on your engine, it's going to be on your left side, very, very first cylinder. It's also marked on your spark plug coil number one number one cylinder this coil came right out of here um, I plugged it up and while I had it plugged up I turned the crank and lined it up to top dead center with the markings on the pulley and on the case <clears throat> and as I got it to top dead center if you have it on compression stroke you'll feel air pressure build up inside that cylinder and try to squeeze its way through where however you have it plugged up now if you do not have it on compression stroke you're not going to feel anything um, as you line it up to top dead center so that's really the uh, the way to know if you're on uh, compression stroke is you're going to feel pressure coming out of this cylinder um, the other thing you can do if you want to, uh, if you don't want to do it that way, is remove your rocker cover and look at your camshaft lobes and make sure they're pointing up and towards each other um, on this side of the engine. Well, actually, it's on should be the same on both sides. I'm not sure about the other side, but on this side, both camshafts should be pointing up and pointing a little bit towards each other and then you'll know that it's on compression stroke that's if you actually visually want to see it 
by removing the uh, rocker cover. Um, all right. Um, I hope that uh, clears a few questions up. Thank you.